What? Television drove me to it. I'm still decent. I'm just a victim of this evil spewing smut box. Give me a break, Dad. Television? Well, let me ask you something. Do you think about all the time? Nonstop. And do you watch TV all the time? Constantly. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> what it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we're here to check out a compilation of the best of Stan Smith from the couple of seconds of it that I did see already. It's bad. It's really, 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 really bad. It's so scary, the stuff this dude says in this cartoon, that... I don't think a try not to laugh challenge would be good for this because I'm gonna laugh super a lot, hopefully. Let's do this. You're such a fascist. Peace pusher. Murderer. Hermaphrodite. I want to go back to a simpler time when men were men and women had no say. What are you guys, homos? No. Oh. Only if you promise you won't fly away. <laughs> what? Oh. I don't even get it. I don't. More tea, Lady Harrington? Why, thank you. Oh! 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 oh. oh. No! Leave it! This is great, Barry. Steve isn't interested in playing Red Dawn with me anymore. I'm sorry you wasted 14 years of your life with him. Oh, Francine, you're right. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Not even Algeria. Oh, Gay! Stan. Oh, no. Yep. Honestly, Stan, what does Haley have to do with you getting a promotion? It should be enough that you're really good at your job. Yeah, it should. But we don't live in Shudland. Ah, Shudland. Where clean cut kids cruise Shudland Boulevard. And the Shudland High football team gets their optimistic asses kicked by their crosstown rival, Reality Check Tech. Don't panic. I got you the best lawyer in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm sorry, Counselor. What did you say your name is? Irv Rosenblatt. Guilty! Ah! Hey, Steve. Somebody left yeah. this on your front porch. Great. It's the fat one. That's a doormat, Barry. Who's Matt Barry? God, I hate you so much. Mom, can Barry stay for dinner? If it's okay with his parents. Oh, they won't care. They never care. Good people. My kind of people. Look, I'm a skeleton. No, no, I'm an obsessive Oingo Boingo fan, circa 1985. It's a weird science party. Who shall ask for more? Mm. Oh. Well, I thought giving you a blanket party would have done the trick, but I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way. A blanket Son, party? Breaking into a vault is like making love to a woman. Right. So we should pound on it for like two minutes? You slept with. Damn. Safes are that easy to get into where you guys are from? Good lord, you must be a magician with those type of numbers. With my daughter? Well, to be perfectly honest, neither of us did very much sleeping. Oh, God, you shot him. He's dead. Somebody help. Oh. Uh -oh. Don't shoot. I didn't see anything. I'm blind. Oh, okay. Smith? Yeah? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. You slept with my dog. Wait a minute. That guy wasn't blind. He saw my gun. Damn it! What is this? This is Operation Tears of a Clooney. Francine, meet Raina Markovitz, former assassin for the KGB. Raina, when did you have a baby? I didn't. This economy is terrible. I'll be running the war room and doing a little bit of freelance wet nursing. Mind if I catch a run? What? Oh. Hey. First off, where is that at? If there's free titty to suck, then I feel like I should go there and do a vlog. But leave out the part with the titty. Uh, Steve, would you mind opening the door for us? Yes, I mind. You have to believe me. There's something wrong with Barry. Something evil. Fine, I'll open the door. When we get to church, nobody pray for Steve. Oh! <laughs> Attention, everyone. Here are the invitations to the annual CIA Family Carnival. This is a top-secret gathering, so you'll want to memorize the time and location immediately. Done! <laughs> because the invitations will self-destruct in three seconds. Still better than my wife's cooking, eh? Oh. 
I'm pooping blood tonight. <laughs> hey, if the whole CIA <laughs> is at this carnival, Shit. who's out there? That's two. Two laughs so far. Undermining democracy. The FBI pulls a double shift. Yes, but you lost my respect. You're not the man I married. And you're not the man I married. Haley! Shh. I was never here. You married a man? What man did you How marry? humiliating. Haley made me look like a total idiot. Honey, you're not a total idiot. I mean, you got the point of the film, right? Francine, get out. Hey, do you know what I was thinking about last night while I was gazing at the back of your daughter's head? Your promotion. Now say goodbye to your kneecaps, Stan! Honey, I know you're upset, but I also know you never shoot an innocent man! Damn it, which one of you is Stan? He is! He is. Oh, fine with me, I'll just shoot you both. Okay, okay, this has gone on long enough. <sighs> Francine, I've been a fool. All this time I thought I was special because I married the homecoming queen. But turns out I was special because I married you. Not because of some stupid crown. He's the imposter. Shoot him now. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Shoot him. I love you so much. Shoot him. Nice try, Bill. Stan would never say anything that sweet. Ow! What the hell, you crazy bitch? <gasps> hey, Bill. Come on, that's my wife, man. Saudi women aren't objectified like on, women man, in Western that's, that's cultures. My hole the beauty myth there, doesn't exist here. It doesn't exist in Idaho either. Why couldn't we go there? I'm leaving. What do you mean? Where? I'm leaving you, George. What? Uh, <laughs> you almost had me. <laughs> it's like the time I told Kathy Zeta her mom killed her. I'm not joking. Damn it, if Francine had been here, she could have started the wave of laughter. Laughter is infectious, like smallpox or gay. She wants. Or chlamydia. <laughs> to be equal partners? Well, I say no way. I don't want a partner. I want a wife. Someone who's happy taking care of my life. Where's my Edith Bunker? Laura Petrie, Wilma Flintstone. I would never let Archie go to a party alone. I want to go back to a simpler time When men were men and women had no say Content to love, honor, and obey I want to be greeted with a massage and a martini The way master was by his genie I don't buy this independence and doing your own thing I want a woman to make me feel like a king This ship is sinking and I'm swimming for my life I don't want a partner Damn it! I want a wife Oh, did I just sing my way in here? Yes! Please, just take what you want and leave. Are we gonna die, Mommy? Yes, Brandy. Oh! And abandons his family for 20 years. Only the manliest man in the world. Honestly, you should be having sex with him right now. He'd do you right. You want me to go get him? I don't think he's asleep. He told me all about your master plan. I was destined for greatness until you tricked me into having this loving family, thus dooming me to a life of mediocrity. But no more, succubus. Man, I'm getting hungry. Hey, let's go dig up your mother so she can- Hey, you the one who ain't wear no condom, bro. It's not all her fault, bro. Come on, bro. Make us breakfast. What the- <laughs> A raging teenage house party in our neighborhood? <gasps> Steve, I can't believe you're here. The Schwartzstein's house is going off. Imperialist swine. They want to enslave all Arabs. You know damn well that America does not want to enslave all Arabs. Just the ones who have oil. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Best popular party of the year, huh? Hey, has anyone seen Steve? Hey, the party's moved upstairs. Little migration action. I love how that happens. Keeps it fresh. <gasps> oh Mother my god! Oh my god! My son's a slut! I just made that bed!
So why would Dan Weber become a cyber terrorist? What do we know about Dan Weber? Well, he's a grown man obsessed with the Lord of the Rings. That's it! By destroying modern infrastructures, he hopes to create a Middle Earth in the here and now. That's it! I've cracked it! But wait a second, Steve was the one who... So much ah! fun as a geek! Who cares? You knew? What else have you been hiding? Maybe the fact that he's not even my son! Please... Please, please tell me you slept with another man! Tell me it was in our bed and he was wearing my tie as a headband. And, and you grabbed the tie to gain leverage and then apologized, embarrassed. But he said, no, baby, you grab what you need to grab to keep doing what you're doing. Tell me, if you ever loved me, you'll tell me that's what happened. I officially renounce our American citizenship. The Smiths are staying in Saudi Arabia forever. This is my country now. I am... Stan of Arabia! We could sure use a miracle right about now. President Bush! Howdy, Saudis. Democracy has arrived. like I got here just in time. Hey, it's snowing. Look, Mr. President, teacher says every time a bell rings, an oppressive autocracy gets freedom. That's right. That's right. boy, Clarence. Wake up! What, what, what? Damn! Lava, acid, and your crutch. These are things you must not touch. Take it, son. Rest assured your eyes will melt if you drift below the belt. No, but the psychopath faxed us this note. Luckily, there was paper in the machine this time. I've never seen this language before. Mother... No one has, sir. Guess who just packed up her last box of spring cleaning? Ah, French maid outfit. Very arousing. I'm overwhelmed with desire. Good day. Well, it's clear what must be done. We have to burn the school to the ground. Dan! Fine, fine, we'll talk to the principal. Soon, my pet. Soon I will feed you the world. These academics are expert at using mind games to implant their liberal agendas. I've dealt with them before, so leave the talking to me. Good, you're both here. And you're both here. Sure, everyone knows the CIA invented crack and introduced it to the inner city, but what we never get credit for is malt liquor. Yes, that was us. Wow. Smith. Morning, sir. I took the liberty of running a few errands for you. Oh, well... I shined your super large shoes, you stallion. And I picked up your prescription of Viagra. That's one lucky lady. Huh? 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 Here, let me bring these in for you. That's really not necessary. Oh! Hey, Oh, you must have come over to apologize. I mean, why else would you... Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right. My wife didn't spend 36 hours squeezing Steve from her birth canal so you could shove his face right back in there. I'm Professor Smith. You should all be grateful your parents signed you up for this morally upright health class. Oh, this be the morally upright class? I'm in the other one. Excuseth me, English. Apply to affected area. Why can't they write these things in English? Hey, check this out. I'll tell you! Ha <laughs> ha, you totally flinched. Lovely. Ooh, you're such a good father. Mm -mm. Francine, what are you doing? This is where we eat. Absolutely, son. Let's talk in private. Uh, Stan, do you want me to come with you? No, this is a father's job. Besides, sons have complex relationships with their mothers, especially if they're as beautiful and sexy as my mother. Stan, what's going on? Francine, we're here to break George Clooney's heart. This is war. And no war is won without a cracked squad of murderers and thieves. <clears throat> and rapists. Sorry, Franz. Thank you. We oh. interrupt this broadcast with the breaking story. That's right, Terry. 
In order to purge trash from TV, our government has given me complete control over all programming in Langley Falls. Stan, can I offer an observation? It's a free country, Greg. I think you might be imposing your personal hang-ups on the public, and that's a violation of the right. First Amendment. <laughs> Langley Falls, say goodbye to smut and say hello to clean TV. One last time, one last time, and I'm done forever. What the f is he about to do? Making Dad happy, making Dad happy, doing his chores, doing his chores. Mom and Dad's bedroom, Mom and Dad. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Even I've never had sex with a wooden. Statue of Liberty, lady. Jeez, man, have some cooth. Ah! Rise and shine. Stan, I haven't seen you since college. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for my best friend's bachelor party. I got your evite. Oh, my secretary must have accidentally sent that. Accidentally sent? Get out of here, you crazy old herpes spreader. Will you please stop calling me that? Oh, I got your present. <laughs> It's an Asian sex doll. Huh? Remember in college, you were always talking about climbing the Great Wall of Vagina? <laughs> uh, Stan, this is my future father-in-law, Reverend Hideki Obayashi. Ow. Oh. Look, boys, perennial all-star Derek Jeter. Hey, kids, have fun at the game. Listen, the CIA said they were done with me. I still have the headaches and the nightmares. What happened in Munich? Who did I kill? No, no, I'm not here for that. Stan, why don't you tell one of your exciting Grenada stories that everyone loves, including Steve? Oh, nobody wants to hear any of my stupid stories. You're in Grenada? Barry, don't encourage- Why don't you pull up a couple of chairs? Ah! October 30th, we were pinned down by the enemy, and I just learned Johnson was going to the USO Halloween pageant as Ms. Pac-Man, which meant I had less than 24 hours to come up with a whole new costume. <gasps> Guilty as charged, but I'm gonna make good on it all, starting with that centerfold I promised you. Here she is, centerfold Janet Gustafson. No. That's not her, she's ancient. Well, sure, the magazine I showed you was from 1957. But she uh -oh. still loves to party. For Steve, oh my god. Well, I Whoa. know all your memories now, just like you know all mine, right? I don't know anything anymore. Some call him a genius, others call him a madman. But he's the single most valuable weapon our country has in our war on terror. I'm just glad this wasn't a Kobe Bryant joke. Sickos. Scott here is uh, pretty good at the jumble. Oh. Steve, this is the best party I've ever thrown. I mean, you've ever thrown. We're finally popular. Nice shot, Smith. Accompanied by a hauntingly poignant turn of phrase. Thanks, it's from Reagan's speech when the challenger blew up. Yep, Steve's an absolute warrior. I am the Elf Warrior of Galandror. Hey, are you two capering? We don't allow capering in here. Oh. Point a flashlight at my dad, you <coughs> terrorist oh. helping traitor. Dad, you're 76. Just retire. Mark and I would love for you to live with us. Well, I can't leave the museum, Sheila. They need me. But these are your golden years, Pop. You should be enjoying life with your family. I, I never stopped enjoying it, Sheila. And in a way, those paintings are my family. Bam. Uh oh. Go ahead, play the card. But it'll send you back to start. I'm familiar with the rules, Stan. But. Play the card! Play the card! Freeze, you big footed freak! Dan Weber does not fear you, for he is ushering in the age of magic. And you cannot shoot what you cannot see. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, oh, you know what else I hate about America? New Mexico. Like we need another one of those. Why don't you just talk to your boss and tell him how you feel? That's perfect. I'll plant a bomb in his office and then defuse it so I can prove I've still got it. So why are you here now? 
I decided it was high time to meet the family. Wait a minute. If that's our grandfather, who did we just bury? Well, let's just say he's a beloved family friend who helped me in my hour of need. Listen, I'm getting married in three hours, and I need a pretend dad for the next 30 years. Okay, how about you? Wait, there is someone at Clooney's door. Oh. Stan, what's he doing there? Clooney, I love you too much to let this happen. Francine's a fraud. Poontang, oh. I love you. She's a housewife from Virginia out to hurt you. Look. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. So, you're saying I should never, ever have sex before marriage? That's right, or angels will kill you. Hey, these people are extremists. That's not ignorance, that's fact. Quick, cover your mouths. That's how they enter your body to lay their eggs. I doubt we'd be calling it minor if it was your wee-wee. Well, I guess this is it. I'll see most of you in heaven. Haley, it's been a crazy ride. Hey, Donnie, tell my son about the guy who tried to sneak a lipstick camera past the XR-21. I accidentally shot him. Yeah, you did. It's called Justice, and it was hilarious. Steve, how would you like to go to the Yankee Oriole game tomorrow? Really? Absolutely. If you want to get good at something, you have to see it done up close by professionals. That's why I took your mother to Bangkok last summer. I'm not going to make the Pornhub joke I was about to make because I am a classy man. I'm a classic man. You can freak me if you show your teats. I'm a classic man. Put your titties in my hand. It's a love song. What'd you do that for? I'm finally popular like we wanted. Titty! You're not popular, you're easy. Maybe my girls open the door, but I'm the one who walked through it. They like me for me. You are not leaving this house until those milk monsters are gone. I've probably never liked a woman for her. <laughs> Because if she didn't have a vagina on her, would you really talk to her long enough to give a shit about anything she's saying? Vince Chung invited me to his party tomorrow night, and you can't stop me. Oh, oh no. yeah? Just so you know, I had the shot. My dad's a thief and a con artist. I'm just a sucker and an itchy turtleneck. And what I did to you... Go ahead, punch me in the face. I deserve it. Oh, Stan. Oh! I said punch, not lamp. One of these days, Francine, one of these days. Right in the kisser. Hey, Agent Smith, Jay Leno. Your boss ready to be roasted? Uh, I guess so. I was hoping my wife would show up before you went on. <laughs> Ooh, wife not here to support you? Guess we know who wears the pants in your family. Where's Smith? He was supposed to meet us here. Hey, give me a chance to emerge. Bye, Dad. We're going to see the new Michael Moore documentary. Michael Moore? Oh, you mean Michael Bin Laden. The Cougar, Wolves, Killer Salmon. And I think you'll be surprised to see what creature was number one in my Enemies of the Bear collection. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Italians. Bears do not fox with Italians, bro. Man. Shit, man. White people. Damn, I was close. Wait a minute. This isn't a promotion. With all due respect, sir, suck it up. You'll get your promotion, Smith, just as soon as you do one last thing for me. Oh, come on. I've picked up your laundry, I've polished your shoes, I've done everything but bend over backwards for you, and my daughter did that, so I say we count it. Taking it off here, boss. There it is. Yeah, boy, do that. Do that shit. Television! What? Television drove me to it. I'm still decent. I'm just a victim of this evil spewing smut box. Give me a break, Dad. Television? Well, let me ask you something. Do you think about sex all the time? Nonstop. And do you watch TV all the time? Constantly. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> you just blew my mind! <laughs> oh, Dad, these eggs are the best! Francine, taste <laughs> these eggs! It's like Dad plucked them from the <laughs> ovaries of an angel. <laughs> Am I dead? fought communists and terrorists, and he has a jetpack and a helicopter, and I bet he could beat up a cowboy. No, this isn't working for me, Stan. What's the problem? Now do I get to meet that centerfold? No, I just said that to motivate you so you'd carry me to the top. Dad, I can't believe you lied to me. Really? Huh, that's, that's kind of my whole bit. Dad, do 
something. So what exactly is a frittata? Dad! Hey, I'm hungry. This guy rode me like an animal for three hours. Do you have any idea what that's like? Mother... And uh, now I'm not hungry. This is Ali, <laughs> Ali, <laughs> and Fassiz. She knew exactly Are what you that okay? Was. I'm fine. And quick. Like a cat. A cat <laughs> that could kill you. Someone shoot him. Put him down. What's going on? Steve fell off a ladder. He's dead inside. We're gonna go save America. Hello, I'm Dr. Gupta. Yes, I'm a woman. I suppose you have a problem with that. Uh, no. Is my wife gonna be okay? Are you questioning my competence? No, I'm just concerned about my wife. Really? Because the way you're looking at me, it seems like you're concerned with something else. There. Now can we move on? Dad, I'm meeting the fellas at the movies. Can I have a few bucks for popcorn? Do I look like I'm made of money? You're free to go. Yeah! Ow! It's over, Thundercat. Hor. Hey, Stan. How come I've never seen this son of yours before? Darnell's been to the office a hundred times. Or are black people invisible to you, you racist bastard? <laughs> wow. They sure can run, can't they? Way to go, son! <gasps> All I need is someone with a little startup money who believes in me. No. Francine, you know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna wear my money suit to your grand opening when you find that someone who believes in you. Only give a chick money after the 40th time you've smashed. If you're really feeling adventurous, do it the first time. I can guarantee you, you more than likely won't make it to four. <laughs> Hello, Bill Gates. Turns out I'm the richest guy in the world because I have an adoring wife and a loving family. Oh, Stan, please. Oh, hang on, that's the other line. Hello, UNICEF? Yes, I'd like to donate some of my immense riches. What's that? Children are still starving in Africa because wife love is worthless to you. What an odd policy. Oh. Now, how'd my boys like to try out the new motorcycles I bought them? <laughs> yeah, all right! Gloom tank, gloom tank, gloom tank. Oh, Cloontang. Because you get a lot of cleaver. What the hell? <laughs> now, everyone watch as this family man slash killing machine diffuses this bomb. Shame! Shame on you! How can you just use him like that? He's a person, not a girl! No. <laughs> that might be the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. What's wrong with y'all? I got you just use him like that. He's a person, not a girl. <laughs> oh, I'm gay. What? My gaydar is totally off. Damn! Sky Mall screwed me again. Well, Quacky, I think it's fantastic. Stan, why don't you get us some drinks to celebrate? Okay, but when I go, he has to promise not to stare at my ass or become a school teacher. Hey, you! My boys just called me from a freighter headed for China. Was that your doing? Oh, uh, well, I... Uh... <laughs> that is the best practical joke ever. It's even better than the time I switched Julia Roberts' fetus with a rat. Sonogram comes back and she's all, uh huh? So, Barry, wanna wind down by watching the best movie ever, Red Dawn? I'm Barry! Red Dawn? Dad, I thought that was our thing. Oh, you're off the hook, Steve. I know you never bought into the whole Nicaraguans, Russians, and Cubans invading Colorado thing. Get in! Damn vultures! Who are they? Paparazzi I hired to follow you. Leave her alone, you animals! Stan! Huh? Where? Get out here, you jerk! You abandoned me in my own reunion! A bat? Oh shit, you better run. Not only is she overweight, but she's cross-eyed as well. That means her peripheral vision is like six times farther than a regular woman's. Run for your lives, men! Hide under what you can! Abandon you? Oh, thank God he's not here. I've never been treated so bad my whole life! You filth! You horrible, terrible, Horrible person, you know, you're a very attractive man. Excuse me? You heard me, you're a son of a bitch, and now I'm gonna kiss you. 
Dan, what are you doing? Uh, Francine, I can explain. I can't believe you lied to me all these years. And the best part is I'm still lying to you about a bunch of other stuff. We may be in Saudi Arabia, but that doesn't mean we have to panic or blame your mother. Hey, everyone, I'm Steve's father. He came from my seed. And she was the manure. And now George Clooney begins his descent into hell. Please put your seat backs and tray tables in the upright position. Please put George Clooney's heart in the... in the... in the sad right position. Should have ended with that whole descent into hell thing. You wrote a children's book? No, Steve. I wrote 3,012 children's books, each chronicling the adventures of Patriot Pigeon, who battles America's enemies by dropping red, white, and blue turds of justice. Well, what a nice visit. Oh, Mr. Durbin, the pleasure was all mine. And thanks, Lynn, for the delicious maple scones. Can we have another pony ride? Oh, no. This old horse has to get back to the stable. Oh, uh, Mr. Durbin, I almost forgot. I wanted to ask you... Why do you hate my son? Ah! Shut up! Don't look at me! Get on the floor! You! Get me more maple scones! Why are you failing my son? Answer me, dirtbag! He had his Japanese friend do his writing assignment. Look! Oh, I see. Well, good night. Good night, Lynn. Oh, don't get up, kids. Seriously, stare at the floor and count to a hundred. Go ahead, Eric. Be a hero. That's what I thought. Punk ass. You'd think that people would have had enough for silly love songs. I look around me and I see it isn't so! What? I mean, why'd you cheat? Um... Stan! It's all right, Francine. For the second time in my life, I was saved by hip hop. But that's another story. Daddy? I made you some soup. Let it cool, because it's much, much too hot. Uh. Ah! Oh, my God! I <laughs> gotcha. I can't feel a thing. You betrayed me, Stan. And since now, I'll never be able to break Clooney's heart. I must kill him. No! Damn. Uh, let me go, Stan! Sorry, Francine. You need to cool down. And then tomorrow, I'm shipping you back to the States. In the meantime, I'm gonna go meet George. He's at a mountaintop spa trying to clear his head of this crazy chick. Oh, I mean you. Haley, why don't you get some sleep? You haven't left your father's side in three days. This was my fault. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm still your same old dad. What's that sound? Oh, I'm peeing. Fantastic! Stan, you need to go to the U.S. Embassy and get help! Oh, sure. One little snag and we go running back to the imperialist pig dogs. Will you have a little faith in the Saudi legal system? Let me tell you about the Saudi legal system. I've been in here for 23 years and you know what I did? I stole a candy bar. I don't believe you. My hand to God. Oh. So I'm gonna head over to the embassy. Yeah, good idea. The gentle swallow? Hi there. Um, uh, I'm dining with a beautiful woman somewhere in this restaurant. Could you ask me to discreetly excuse myself so I can have a word with me? I do not understand. You left 15 minutes ago with your wife. Oh, crap. Where'd I go? The dance. The dance? It's all set, right? It's gonna be just like in Carrie. Pigs? It was supposed to be pig's blood. I didn't finish the book. You stopped reading after the word pigs? That wasn't even the end of the sentence. <laughs> you think you're so cool? Well, in 20 years, I'm gonna come back here with my own homecoming queen, and we'll have our spotlight dance, and I'll show you, I'll show you, and 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 you. Stand back up! Huh? Uh, oh, sorry. Stan? In those eyes, the lies, ah! the peace. Those eyes, I am your niece. That sounds awful. That's because I'm not Peter Gabriel, I'm Gabriel Byrne. Oh. Ah! Kent? We don't live in America, Steve. We live in America. No, 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 wait. We live in America. No, wait, that's not right. We, we are American. Where, where was I going with this? Guns work. But you were paralyzed by a gun. No, I was paralyzed by you. 
Wow, that's quite a line. Well, it's actually more of an assessment of your life. No, I mean the line to get in. What you just said was emotionally devastating. <laughs> I guess it was. I guess it was. Stan? Francine, what a nice surprise. Badia, say do you remember? Badia. How'd that get stuck in my head? Damn it! I have to stop Klaus! Ah! Give me the stuff or I'll shoot! You traded me your gun for ointment, remember? Hurry, Francine, before the juice on my rechargeable fork runs out. <laughs> Terrific. Now it's just a regular $2,000 fork. Time for my vitamin! I should run home and get more. You don't need those. Your little candy pills won't make you live forever, will they? Will they? Murderer! You killed my son! I'm still alive, Dad. Yes, but you're dead inside. No, no, you guys are my friends. Steve, I think there's some more soda in the basement. Why don't you go count it? Don't worry, son, they're not getting any. Your old man's just a tease. When you ran over your wife, twice, it caused her brain to detach from her central nervous system. She's what we in the medical profession call a husk. I've heard of that. We can reattach her brain, but it's an experimental procedure your insurance won't cover. That's my wife. I don't care how much it is, I'll pay it. It's $178,000. What if I don't need her to talk? Apparently, Betty Sue was so devastated by losing Homecoming Queen, she walked into a Dunkin' Donuts and never came out. And speaking of coming out, ta-da! So that's why you're so pale. This is the first time you've come out of your house. Welcome, this is a necktie, and that's a table. The rules are different here for more than just golf. Allow me to explain. Here in Saudi Arabia. No singing. No, a hook, an angle, a gimmick. Hmm. Is the boy gay? Why, could that be a hook? Hook? This is for treating me like an errand boy. This is for delaying my promotion. This is for disrespecting my daughter. And this is for not letting me stop at the creek for a drink. This fight took three days to choreograph. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the Asian cook is the same man who was in the microfilm eating contest at the CIA carnival. A, a tragic story. The actor who was supposed to play the cook, Jimmy Ng, was killed while driving to the set. Yeah, everyone was devastated, but you know, the show must go on. Ah, we just missed the funniest joke in the episode. <laughs> I am sorry, I'll shut up now. Any last words, deputy director? Um, uh, just two. You pass. Bravo, Smith. Bravo. I knew you'd prove your mettle. You uh. see, I staged this elaborate ruse just to test you. Hey, Dan, don't you want some of Fred's stuff? It's not contagious. Oh, I'm getting the biggest prize. His wife? His job. If you don't want to go out, I'll go by myself. Francine, I forbid it. Yeah? Well, too bad. This belong to you? Thanks. Just, uh, just put her anywhere. Oh, yeah? Well, my son's a chip off the old, perfectly chiseled, never impotent except for that one time I couldn't get Lisa Kudrow out of my head block. Are you saying our son is a loser? No, of course not. I'm just... Damn right, because if you're an athlete, you're a winner. And all Smiths are winners. Therefore, all athletes are Smiths. I'll take my sandwich in the study. Can we wear our uniforms? Absolutely. And I got you all baseball jackets, too. Oh, that's yeah, great, man. <laughs> Your size would have cost me two bucks extra, so uh, just bring a sweater. Oh. This morning, the cyber terrorist struck again. Agent Smith, could you tell us the location? The Securities and Exchange Commission. <laughs> <gasps> You're failing English. What? What do you know? And I'm getting straight A's. Well, that's great, sweetheart. Congratulations. Hey, it's been a while. Really? I thought it was because your god doesn't believe in pants. I've gone along with you on this whole thing, no questions asked. But now I gotta know. What the hell, Francine? What is this really about? I mean, I hate Susan Sarandon, but you don't see me cutting off my hand. I just cut my hair different for a while. 
Wait. If I enjoy the scene of the crime now, I won't feel compelled to return to it later. Oh. <laughs> Freeze, thief! <gasps> You're smoking? <laughs> scene of the crime. Guess I couldn't help myself after all. Here we go. See, the second bullet passed through your neck and pushed the first bullet out. You should be completely ambulatory again. What good is that to a man who has to spend the rest of his life in a chair? Ah! Doc, your fork has magical powers. It's the bullet that saved you. This is great. We've got to go back on tour and spread the word. Guns are good. What? Without guns, I'd still be in a wheelchair. Guns heal the sick. But you know, I will admit, America's got its flaws. Really, Dad? Like what? Well, there's free speech and there's gun control and lousy Democrats. The media's too liberal and everyone's too fat. The women have careers and form opinions of their own. We let our wives control our lives. Damn, it's good to be home. Wives are always great. Uh, what happens in Saudi Arabia stays in Saudi Arabia. Okay? Seriously. Yeah, Sugar Mountain closed down years ago. This is basically the same thing, except instead of riding a choo-choo through fairy book land, you ride a bullet through a mugger's chest. What the hell? You come out the exit wound. Look, the NGA is the only thing in my life that means anything to me. <clears throat> what, are you getting sick? Don't come near me. I can't afford to get sick. Have we lost two days? <gasps> Did my experiment work? I love these lazy afternoons on the couch with you. They're Smiths, and Smiths have manly dogs. This dog couldn't be any more effeminate, even if it had 20 vaginas. And then it would just be a freakish mutant or a beautiful symbol of fertility. But... Forget it, Francine. We already have something girly and annoying in this house. It's called Roger. All right, fine. But if you don't want to keep him, you have to find him a good home. Got it. No. Heaven doesn't count. Hell You're yeah, fine. dude. Hey, I need that to shoot people. <laughs> oh, for the love of... You're holding it all wrong. Lab. How are we doing, guys? Did it work? <laughs> Ah. Uh, we gotta call you back. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll protect you. You and the kids are the most precious thing in the world to me. And oh, Fussy, what's this? A gift certificate to the day spa? What's the occasion? Just because? Oh, you must love me more than anyone. Stan! Oh, fine. If you love that dog so much, why don't you marry... Oh. <gasps> oh. So what do you say? Have I inspired you to do that writing assignment? No. How about now? That's the hand I write with. That's negative thinking. I have one last mission. And if you help me make it a success, the job is yours. Whoa! Forget it. You may keep me locked up in this house, but I control what I do in it. Or as they say in my country. Fine, I'll cook it myself. Now, how do I do this without getting hair everywhere? Anything for me? Just a postcard that says your hair looks like crap. Hey, it's from me. What's this? Breadsticks, courtesy of table four. Mother... Thanks, fellas, thank you. Wave to the nice man, Steve. Not too eager, son. They just bought us bread. They didn't let us take the jag out for a spin. See, that just goes to prove it. Can't really blame women for the way that they act. If we had big enough breasts and got all that free stuff, we'd be doing the same shit. <laughs> I know I would. Wow, she really seems unhappy. 
Well, whatever makes her happy, hey, it's her birthday. Titty, I'd love to. But to get on, he needs to have the number one children's book in town. And to get that, he'll need a hook. Right, we'll cut off one of his hands. People love the disfigured. And fear them. From now on, the only thing I want recognition for is being a good dad. Ready? One, two, Eve! Dinner is served. What the hell is that? Dad, you can't treat Mom like a... Sorry, Haley, my finger slipped. I said you can't just... That's odd. I guess this'll just have to wait until I don't have an air horn in my hand. I guess we'll just have to wait until you pay some bills off up in here. Aside from that, sleeping outside in the rocks is the only option you have. Choose your next words wisely. What were you saying again? Good morning, Francine. I'm late, so don't even ask me to make you breakfast. I don't need you to make me breakfast. All I need is my clock and my rocket boot. Oh, what time is it? Time to kick it! Hit me! I am gorgeous! Whose party was this? It was the frontman for an Earth, Wind, and Fire cover band. They played the CIA summer mixer and tried to overcharge us. Bad idea. Fussy! Here, boy! <gasps> My God! I've been so blind! You can never be loyal to just one man! Ah! He won't love you, you know! He's incapable of love! <laughs> Drop everything and help me find it. I said drop everything. But Stan. Drop it. <sighs> Good. Now clean that up and help me look. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. That's where you humans keep your boys. I'm so, so sorry. Here, let me help. <laughs> Don't be starting what you can't finish, bitch. If they like me, it's goodbye boring routine, hello exciting charity events, social functions, and book clubs where we just get drunk and complain about our husband's lack of interest. What now? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, Steve, you put your it. mom on. That's how you do it, guys. When they're saying that, others are, oh, you don't care about that. Oh, my bad. Was you, yo, you talking about that new movie that just came out, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, that shit look good, don't it? Hey. hey, is that Stan? Did you buy me a TV? For crying out loud, quit nagging me, you harpy! My God, that's how he talks to his wife? How else yeah. can I get you to listen? You don't respect me! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twisms.